What's his videos, master? Pick <laughs> some. So now let me explain some of the tips for Tekki Sandan. First tip is after the punch, you punch. And this. What you're doing is somebody grabs you and you're trying to get rid of their grip. So what you have to do is if you just pull back like this, they're not going to let go. You have to use your weight, your whole body weight, and with this elbow to drop down. So do not try to do this. Rather, Drop down your elbow and your whole body, supporting with the other hand, like this. Like this. So make sure you relax this down. Second point is after this, you move to the side and you block. Make sure the thumb is faced up and that since this is quite a unique movement, uh, I, I'm not sure if you're you know, used to doing this with the thumb up. So in order to make this easier, make sure you support your elbow with the other arm and you push out the whole thing out. So not like this, but not like this independently. Connect it and make sure you push together. Third point, during these fast movements such as from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, these movements are very fast, so first please, please practice slowly and do each movement in a bigger motion. You can even exaggerate it like this at first. As you get used to it, minimize the motion. This kata is going to be very hard for you that has a tendency to stiff up. So relax down your shoulder, move big in a relaxed state. The next tip is this movement. Let me do it slowly for you. Um, so what happens is, um, let's say you are doing from here. From right here, first you draw this arm inside and release the other arm here. So just like you would do a gedanbarai, form this shape. The thumb facing down, thumb face to your ear. From here, you're going to draw this arm inside and this arm outside. Execute that at the same time, and there you have it. Other side too, like this. You see this in Heian Sandam, so if you're familiar with that kata, it's the same exact movement. Teki Sandam in general is a very hard kata because you can stiff up pretty easily. So practice slowly at first, and please get used to this speed. If you liked the video, like it, and for other kata tutorial videos, check these out. And if you like my feedback, then please join my online group lesson from right here. I both have private and group and it's held on Saturdays and Sundays. The private ones are tailor-made for you. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.